I was sitting recently in a very powerful place in a country with some political people that were leading the country. I walked in, I sat there, I was waiting in the waiting room, you know, the whole deal, security, secret service. My anxiety was growing. Lord, I have no education. Lord, I, I, I'm not, I, I just began to recite in my mind all the reasons that I shouldn't be here. And finally, the Lord said to me, <clears throat> you belong here. You're one of the kings I'm king over. Kings disciple kings. Slaves don't disciple anyone. Now act like a son. He's coming in the room. Almost every time I end up in these places, as I walk in now, the Lord says, you belong here. I'm trying to say that if we want to disciple nations and not just disciple peaceful nations, we got to change positions. we got to become friends with God. Because friends know all things. And when we sit down with the world leader and he begins to tell us the problems of his world and we're sitting there and we're thinking, I have no idea what to do, but I have a friend I can call and he knows everything. He's Google God. I can Google God right now. I'll just do it while you're talking. Whoop. God, we got a problem here. All things. This guy's got an issue right here. I was in a country, and we were, we were in this particular city in this foreign country, and uh, I got there through a friend of a friend, the mayor of the city, the mayor of this, one of the largest cities in this particular foreign country where we're, we're, in, we're sitting in the, in the room, and the, the man happened to speak English, even though that was in his first language, and so we had a really good 10 minutes. And then he said to me, um, kind of uncomfortably, well, my friend told me that you're a, what are you? I said, uh, yeah, I'm a futurist. He said, yeah, futurist, whatever that is. I said, I know the future. He said, really, can you tell me the future? He said, yeah. So I said, well, let's, we were up three stories in this ornate building. I said, let's walk over to the, this window. And there was this beautiful, big, huge plate glass window, about the size of that screen. I said, see that right out there? He said, yeah. That, I said, see that, that land right there? He said, yeah. I said, there's two companies, and I named the companies, American companies. They're, you're going to do a partnership with them. They're going to build a university right there. It's going to be a high-tech university in the Silicon Valley. There's like the, the Silicon Valley of America, it's going to be the Silicon Valley of your country. It's going to happen right there. And these two companies, you're going to give them the land, and, they're going, and you're going to build a partnership with them to build this university, this high-tech university like MIT. He looks at me and he goes, nobody knows this. I said, what? He said, I met with them three days ago. Those two companies, we just gave them the land. We're building a university there. He said, what else do you know? I said, I know you're going to redo the water, system, the water system of the community. He said, that's right. I said, you're going to hit an artesian well. It's going to be the best, the purest water. I said, you ever heard of Fiji water? He said, yeah. It said, this water is going to be famous all over Europe. You're going to bottle it. You're going to sell it. You're going to have more than you need for your city. Anyway, I, I stand up to go, and he goes, hey, when you come back, you just come anytime <laughs> and meet with me. How many know God knows all things? We belong here. We are sons and daughters of the king. We have access to all the answers to the world's problems. Would you stand? <laughs>